Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Stocks go up, stocks go down. Then we see nice week last week. Interesting. Had to do nothing the last few days. Appears to be similar today. You have to chill and wait. Uh, and here's the thing. So let's talk about the reality of stocks and what you need to know about it. Okay, very interesting. So if a stock like Tesla goes up 20% in a month, two months, six months, whatever, everybody on Wall Street tells you it should only go up 10% or 20% a year, a year. So they all start telling you to sell. Doesn't matter where it's at. Meta, all these things, they've gone up 80, 90% NVIDIA. It doesn't matter. They just tell you to sell. That's what they do, okay? So you just have to be aware that even though things, when the news flow is positive, everything doesn't really move all the time, okay? And we've seen that last week, at the end of the week. The news flow was so good, and the action was so bad, okay? So when that happens, you trade smaller and you trade less. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So every day is not a good day. Every day is not a bad day. There are some days that are just sitting there. So think, think about this stuff. Very interesting. So this guy tells me yesterday on Twitter, it's just funny. I get tired of arguing with people on Twitter, so you just don't respond to them. That if Dell goes up, memory doesn't go up. Really? Interesting. I mean, where the hell do they get these guys? And even worse, this guy says he works in the industry. I mean, think about that. Think about that. You, It takes you six to nine months to get machines and get them in-house and set up and clean rooms, etc., to make memory. My plan is telling you memory is slowly getting better. And the inventories are coming down. Well, that makes sense, right? If Dell selling more PCs, then memory would be coming down. There's more use of memory. I mean, but here's the thing. If you go buy a machine today from Dell, are you going to buy an 8 gigabyte memory to run stocks and stuff and AI? Are you going to buy 8? or you can buy 16. The people that used to buy eight are gonna buy 16. The people that used to buy 16 are gonna buy 32. Okay? So it's just simple logic. I mean, the amount of people that think that they know things inside companies is fascinating to me. Back when COVID was happening, we had people sending me messages my dad is assistant to the general in the military. They're going to put, they're going to move all the people onto the streets and order cities to be shut. My dad is an admiral. My dad is an admiral. And your dad is going to call you up to tell you they're going to do something about COVID. So you can go tweet it all over the, over the thing. Let me tell you, 90% of people don't even know what's going on in their own company. They don't. And maybe they don't care, and that's okay too. But they don't know. They don't know. Okay? This is very, very simple. I told you when the market started going down a year and a half ago, two years ago, that and everybody is saying, oh, LAM research, all these things are going to go. I said, no, the PC cycle is 18 to 24 months at minimum. When it starts down, it's 18 to 24 months of shit. Very simple. This is not hard. Test it. Elon. Basically destroying the... He thinks he knows. Do you, can you imagine... The people that bought the Model S at 120000 the Plaid at 165000 
how upset they are. I mean, let me tell you, what Elon should do, everybody that bought the Model S over 100000 he should send them $10,000. Just send it to them. There's goodwill. Because nobody wants to buy a Tesla. You may think you do, but you don't. The, the demand has fallen off a cliff, and it's going to get worse. These, these guys think, oh, my God, if I put out a pickup at 30 grand, I, I destroy this other company. It doesn't work that way in cars, guys. When you're ready to buy a car, you go find the car you like, and you go buy it. You don't just say, oh, I like a Tesla. I'm not going to test drive anything else for the next two years, and I'm going to buy a Tesla when I'm ready. Well, it doesn't work that way. When you're ready to buy a car, you want to go buy a car. That's how it works. When you're ready to buy a house, you go buy a house. I mean, that's how it works, okay? People don't just go, oh, rates are going to go up to 10%. I'm going to go buy a house at 6%. They don't do that, okay? If they want to buy a house, they buy a house. Okay, now they might buy a less expensive house, but they're going to go buy a house. They send interest rates. Okay, SPX is down 11. And the news is great from last week. But this week, the action isn't great. So if the action isn't great, you have to chill and wait. And then maybe later in the week, it gets better. NVIDIA. NVIDIA hit 499, and it's down 20. Down 20. So if NVIDIA can't go up, I mean, the logic is so simple. If NVIDIA doesn't go up, why are you going to buy anything? If the company that's making massive amounts of money can't go up, why are you going to buy anything else? Now, I, I have this very, this inkling of what's going to change this whole thing, this whole market when it gets better. I think the day that Microsoft announces Copilot, Everything reverses and goes up hard from the AI. Now, from what I'm hearing, they said it was two quarters behind. I know somebody that works there. So as of last quarter. So we're just maybe six weeks, seven weeks into the new quarter. So you're still three months away from Copilot. Interesting, right? And I don't think they're going to get 30 bucks. People may pay 30 bucks, the average show. But companies are not going to pay them 30 bucks. They're just not going to. Okay? All these price hikes. But here's the thing that's happening now. You don't have to do price hikes. But they have to do price hikes because they need to make more money. And that is a tragedy. That is a tragedy. People just want to do hikes so they can make more money. Now it's up. Because here, here's what they're saying to themselves. In the boardrooms and everything else, let's go make more money. And then we don't give a shit what happens. We're going to sell our stock and we're going to go retire. That's what they're saying. Look at ESPN. ESPN is not on charter spectrum this weekend. Why? People are canceling left and right. Charter doesn't care because they didn't really lose much money, 5%. Okay? But Disney lost a billion dollars. Billion dollars? Well, Disney was the first company that destroyed, you know, they own ABC and stuff. They, they, they actually got stupid. Think about this. You got Tony Romo or some guy announcing a game. Let's pay him $15 million. Is somebody going to watch a game because of Tom Brady? No. They're going to watch the game because they want to watch the game. They don't care if jo Joe Blow is, at, is, is talking about it. They don't care. Now, you may get 10 people extra to watch. But they Think, think about it. Just explain to me why somebody broadcasting a game that's not even as good as me, because here's the thing. They won't say anything bad because 
I know sports reporters. I know a couple personal sports reporters, okay? And they say when we go in, we can't ask a bad question because they won't let us in the locker room and they'll, they'll never talk to us again. So you don't even get reality from these guys. There's a minute left in the game. There's a minute left in the game, and you're down by two scores and you're running the ball. Oh, that was a good play. So, guys, understand this. These companies that were making money, they destroyed all this stuff. They destroyed it. Disney destroyed their own stuff by raising salaries and stuff so much that now they're, they're, they're getting smacked. Okay, why do we say I'm talking about this? Let's go to Netflix. Netflix, don't don't think that they're doing great. I know at least 10 people myself that are pissed off at Netflix, and half of them left. They said, I'll come back to it after football season or after this. I'm out. I'm not paying them. They want more money, too bad. Netflix, if you have one account and the $8 add-on account, you're now at $25. If you add up all your streaming, you're probably way up there where it was before. And it's it's not about, it's because they can't grow, let's go raise prices. At some point, that fails on everything, on food, everything. Toilet paper, toilet paper is triple. Jesus. Because they can't. And at some point, that fails. And when that fails, Everything goes to shit. So just understand. That. But today is very simple. As long as NVIDIA, when NVIDIA starts going up just like last week, the market will go up. MDB, stunning numbers. But were they? Stunning numbers? They're only going to make $2 next year. $2. Trading at. I don't know, 200 PE? Is it stunning? If if your business is that good, why are you not guiding up 200%? Ah, because it's not that good. It's good, but it's not that good. Okay? So that's what we see, that's what we see, that's sweet. Okay, Avago. I think Avago is going to be just like NVIDIA. At some point, it, maybe it gets down to 2.30 or 8.30, 8.20, and then it pops 50. Just like NVIDIA got all the way down to 4.50, and then it popped 50. So just you got to wait, and you got to chill, and you got to relax. Rates are going back up today, market heading lower. So breathe and relax, okay? Breathe and relax. Then we see, then we see, then we see. And let me tell you something, guys. If they start selling tests like that, this is going to get to 260. Why? Because he doesn't even comment about anything but this and that on Twitter, and he just keeps raising prices. I mean, lowering prices. I'm sorry. Okay? So understand that. Okay, let's get started. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Nine five. Stocks go up. Stocks go down. Have to learn to trade less. Trade less and wait. Trade less and wait. If NVIDIA goes up, techs will move. If NVIDIA goes down, techs are going to go lower. Everything is going to go lower, okay? MDB, all the way down to 386. This, this was 416, and the CEO opened his mouth. They asked him a question that he didn't answer. He said, what's your, your growth from AI? Oh, we don't give you that. Terrible answer. You know what you say? Let me get back to you on that. That's it. I mean, Sam is so freaking smart. If he says, let me get back to you, it's at 422. See? You don't, you don't even have to get back to him. You're, you're on a live call with 20 million people listening. At that point, let me get back to you. I'll give you an answer. That have to be real. Interesting, right? Interesting. Okay. So SPX down 12, uh, you got 4,500, 4,491. Needs to get through 4,521. Avago, you got 
842, 841, needs to get through 920. NVIDIA, 472 down, 491 up. Lamb Research, 703, 711, underneath 670, 691. AI, they have earnings this week. The CEO last time came on and he said the same thing as some of these other CEOs. We have so much business, we don't know what to do. And then he didn't guide up. He didn't guide up. If he says that this time, it's going to be 22. Okay? So just be careful on that. Okay? He needs to guide up. If you tell me your business is great and you can't guide up, it's not so great. Right? Pretty easy. Meta. I'm hearing. And I don't know if this is true, but they have 800,000 companies that are boycotting ads. Wow. Because they're letting people get harassed. And all these companies are saying, I'm done with you guys if you're going to let people get harassed. Wow. Elon better watch out for that too. The same thing will happen. 800,000 companies. If that's true, Meta's going to miss. I don't know if it's true. MDB needs to get through 400 underneath 371. Snowman needs to get through 162. They've missed three quarters in a row. Snow has missed three quarters in a row. In the greatest time there is for AI. Interesting, right? 152, 141. Caterpillar trying to break up 288, 294. Uh, Carvana, 51.56. Baidu needs 152. Boeing hasn't got the news that they're going to de deliver to China yet. Isn't that interesting? You bring it out, and then you don't got nothing. But that's not a surprise. The CEO told you 15 times there, everything was good and the plane was going to get approval. He told you 15 times in a total of three months, and it didn't happen. BKNG, 32.21. Shop, 68. Netflix, 452 up, 416 down. SCMI, went up because of Dell. If you're telling me that Dell is going to ship more computers, that means you're using more memory. That means SMCI and NVIDIA are selling more chips, and SMCI is building more computers. NOW, 592, Microsoft, underneath 316, over 333. Now, remember, Microsoft was 222 six months ago, seven months ago. So it's still up 100 points. If they come out again and guide down again, look up. Test. 241, 238, 233. That's what we know. That's what we know. Comments, questions. Hold on. Let me go to comments, questions. Perfect. Okay. Everybody have a great train day. See you in chat.